Hi there, this is Fixed It. I'm in the process of doing some more upgrades to my 3020 CNC engraver router. And one of the things I noticed is how incredibly loud the power supply is. So I just thought I'd do a quick test with this DB app to see what we're getting. As you can see from the DB meter and you can hear from the background noise, we're getting between 75 and over 80 decibels of noise out of the back of this machine, which is quite a lot really. But one of the things I noticed when I was doing this was this. Quite bizarrely, the fan is blowing out rather than in, sucking in air from the side panels through these slots at the side and it's blowing it out at the back. The interesting thing is, if I put my hand over the back of the fan, we can see that the noise level drops down to about 70, 73, 74 decibels. Because what's happening is we're getting cavitation out of the back of the cabinet, running it with the case off. You can see that the, uh, the dB level has dropped. Now the interesting thing is, there's a large heat sink here and there's some other heat sinks but with the way it's set up at the moment there's very little air to circulate around the heat sinks so it's not very efficient so what I'm going to do is to turn the fan around so that the fan's blowing inwards so I've reversed the fan and what I'll do is keep quiet and turn the machine back on as you can see we're still around the 60 decibel mark now look what happens when I put the case back on. With the case on, we're looking at a 10 decibel drop in noise uh, from the fan, just over 70. So what you need to do is to check your devices and see whether or not the fan is blowing in or out. The good thing about it blowing in now is I'm getting a good healthy amount of air coming out through these vents on either side, which basically means there's going to be plenty of airflow over the heat sink and over the components. So if you want to reduce the noise from the internal fan, then check it out. The fan's now blowing inwards and it's a lot, lot quieter and it's now actually blowing across the large heat sink on the other side of this toroid. So there you have it. Bye reversing the fan and putting it into the position where it's got airflow coming into the box which is the way I think it ought to be you reduce the noise of the fan by 10 decibels and you stop that incredibly loud whistling noise everybody knows that noise can be fatiguing and once the spindle and everything else starts then the noise level is going to go up so anything that can reduce the background noise is going to help you and your ears hope you like the video thanks for watching bye